So, I don't know if I have showed you guys this yet or not. Actually, I don't think I have at all. And I kind of know that because I've been kind of keeping a little bit of a secret because of, uh, well, I bought another tractor, but, you know, I wasn't going to let you guys know that right away. Uh, we were working out the deal on it, so we had it. We had it in on rent for this spring. And yeah, we had our one case, our 2090. Uh, we think we either toasted a head gas to get or lost an O-ring on a cylinder wall liner. I believe that's the right way to say that. I don't know. Anyways, so um, we bought this. We had it as a, as a rental because we needed another tractor. And it was just one of those things where it was like, we got to have it now. And then it was a good deal. So we worked it out and we like it. It's a lot better than the other one. So that was a plus. And yeah, so anyways. She fires right up. And, uh. We're gonna go. It's a proper term would be a vertical till, a little bit of ground. Um, so, anyways, we have we did a fireworks show over the weekend, over the Fourth of July. We parked some cars out there in the field. Done that nobody really wanted to do, so we're 
figured I'd just go and do it tonight before uh, we got busy tomorrow and everything. So, yeah. Anyways. Man, if I hadn't already looked at the radar, I would be guessing we were going to get some rain here in a minute. There's a little bit of thunder. Lots of red out on the radar. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the night. But, yeah, so anyways, I'll do a little walk around of this tractor since I haven't done that. Um, I mean, it's a nice little unit here. It's a 7120. If you guys hadn't already saw that. Um, it's got an 8.3 in it. 8,600 hours on it. Um, and the paint's not in great shape, but it doesn't matter how it looks, it doesn't matter how it runs. Um, it's got the heavier 3 point on it because it's got the extra assist. Uh, it's got a double PTO, 540 and 1000. Um, my dad worked on these things for many years, so... Him and I looked it over quite a bit. Um, went through it a couple different times, noticing some things here and there. And basically, this tractor is mechanically sound, is what it boils down to. Um, it's got two wheel seals that need to be changed, but other than that, it's in great shape. Um, he knows the guy that owned it. Uh, he did. He worked on it there when that guy owned it, so he knows the history of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not afraid of high hour tractors personally. Um, I mean, if anybody knows those, uh, anything about those Magnums, they're pretty much bulletproof. Um, I know what to look for if there is anything wrong. And if I don't know, I can make one phone call and probably have the answer. Um, so. Yeah, that's why we bought it. Uh, that's a 20,000 hour tractor, 30. There's a couple guys around uh, in the area that have that have some that are right at that 30,000 hours. Um, they they have it on feed mixer. It it, uh, it definitely acts like it has 30,000 hours on it, but for a non-rebuilt tractor, um, and they run it every day. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, lots of guys have 20,000 hours on them. Man, the wind just picked up and it just started to rain a little bit. So, it's a good thing I got in the truck when I did. So, we're gonna try to outrun this storm and not get super wet. Just wash my truck. So, let's get going. Man, it's blowing all the dust off the road and everything. Great. Let's go. Hopefully uh, we get just enough rain, but not too much, because my plan is to knock out, hopefully knock out this farm tomorrow um, with putting down 28. I mean, there's 100 and, let me think about it, almost 200 acres of corn over here. I need to get knocked out, so hopefully I can get that done tomorrow. Yeah, that's what the plan is. Soybeans are coming along. Sprayed this field the other day. It looks good. This field uh, probably needs to get sprayed. But 28, 28's more important to get on right now, I think. Um, I'll hit this. Once I get these fields done of corn, fields up north are a little bit farther behind so I'm not super worried about getting those done um, with 28 as I am about getting these beans sprayed and we got some stuff to some other stuff to spray on them so I'll probably do that as well might just cut the cut the rate back drop that down to like 10 gallons an acre or something and go I don't know just uh who knows but we got some it's just that time where it's got to get the got to get the nutrients into the crops before uh, they get away and you know you hurt yourself by not doing that so yeah 
So anyways, enough of me just talking to talk. 